Good morning, Floss Tube friends. It is Thursday, July 25th, and I promised you a quick appearance by Lucy in my next video. If you look at her face, you can tell that it's nap time. And I picked her up out of the stitching chair to bring her here to show you. So I am going to let her go take her nap, but she's doing really well. She got a summer clip. Mm, it's been about a month ago, but she feels so much better not to have all that long hair. And she is mostly sleeping, always ready for meal time and barking at anyone who walks by the house or dares to come up on the porch. We had roofers because of a bad hailstorm. Yes, about a week or two ago, and she behaved so beautifully, but I think she was scared to death of all the roofing noise. Do you know she only barked one time that whole day when one of the gentlemen walked up on the porch to plug in a piece of equipment and she went crazy. But the rest of the day she stuck to me like glue and made it through that horrible day. But I must say, they promised they would not leave nails or other debris in the yard, but we are still picking up said items. And two days we had an injured back paw and I'm afraid she stepped on something, but I don't think it was a nail. I think it was just a bottle cap or something that hurt her little pad on the bottom of her back paw, but she is fine. We have no ill effects, except that it is definitely nap time. So I'm gonna put her down. I hope she will go back to where, oh goodness, where she was and get in her nap. I'm so glad to see you. It's been a while. Goodness, we, hmm, how do we stay so busy when we're supposed to be retired? My husband actually consults two days a week, so he's, I guess, part-time retired. But I'm telling you, it's too much going on. The roof was a big part of that. We're still waiting on them to come back and paint where they ripped off flashing, which also ripped off our brand new paint. But they're hopefully gonna do that soon. I also spent some time in North Carolina with one of our daughters and her two and a half year old. And then had a good rushed few days with our oldest daughter and her family as they were moving across country. What else have we been doing? It's, it's been busy, a lot going on with our church, which is always a blessing, but it keeps us on the go. I have to share, and I hope this is okay with my friend, that one of my oldest and dearest friends was able to meet me in North Carolina, and we spent, well, almost 24 hours together after not having been together for 20 years, although we're constantly in touch. What a blessing that was, I cannot tell you. It's one of those friendships you pick up right where you left off, and I'm so grateful for that. I had also had the privilege of seeing her daughter, one of her daughters. Blessings abound, so I hope that's okay that I shared that. Now, I have a lot to show you. I have a finish that is halfway fully finished, and then I have several whips, and I do have some all. I hit a sale at our local needlework shop and, you know, we have to browse. Let me identify this video. I'm not sure which number it is, but we did the day, 25th, July, 2024, Thursday, hot, sunny day here in Texas. Uh, what else would I want to say? It's been too long since I've been here, so I think I said that too. I looked at my history on my floss tube channel and people in september i will have been making these videos for seven years seven even though i'm a small channel i have had so many blessings from getting to know all of you and being inspired by you and encouraged by you so sometime in september i definitely need to celebrate and do some kind of giveaway. So we'll be thinking about that. 
Also, if you are a new subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. And all of you who've been with me from the beginning, you win an award. And anyone who's come along in during those seven years, thank you for your time. I have never in our history of floss tube seen so many new floss tubers. So you have plenty of people to watch and I appreciate you taking time to pop in here because I'm not a faithful poster and I don't know if that will ever change, but thank you. I won't ever stop stitching and I hope I won't ever stop posting. Okay, let's start with our finish that should be fully finished hopefully today. I've been on a cleaning tear today because I had neglected my cleaning. Okay, I'm looking for the pattern. Here we go. You all know this has been in my stash for a long time or in my whip pile. It is called Keeps My Way Secure by LiftedSpiritPatterns.com. Thank you to Katie Carney for introducing me to this Etsy shop. And guys, I finished the stitching. That green. Ooh, I may not stitch green for a long time. But I definitely want to finish this in a hoop. And what I have done is just pop it in the hoop for you to see. But I will be measuring, centering all the good things. So don't count this as the way it's going to sit in the hoop. I have to say that it was a lot of fun to stitch. My only problem was figuring out which green they were calling for. And I finally folded the guide sheet so that I could hold the color on the color guide up to the picture on the graph to figure out which green it was. But I'm not sure where I want to hang this. I do want to go to Hobby Lobby and get a really pretty ribbon that I could embellish this with. I might even put on the edge of the hoop. But it's such a beautiful piece. I don't think it needs a lot. And of course, seeing this verse every day will be such a precious reminder. It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. This is from Psalm 18. So yay, all out of the whip pile, finished and hopefully hanging on the wall tonight. I'll probably run to Hobby Lobby later today and see what I can match. I just did not have a stash of green ribbon. You know, I'm the blue girl. So this is gonna be a sweet reminder. Oh, I do know, do I know what it was stitched on? Yes, I do. This is on 32 count antique white Jobelin, and I've never stitched on Jobelin before. My sweet friend Mary Cat Stitches sent me this fabric, and Mary, I have enjoyed working on it. And as you see, it was the perfect size for this piece. Thank you. So, Jobelin, two over two, all the called for DMC. All right, then. I'll give you the quick glance of my little two-year planner that I'm using just for my stitching. And I'm not putting as much in as I would like, but I did talk here about a new start, which I'm gonna show you. And I also wrote that finish here and how it was stitched. So maybe this will help my brain, I'm hoping so. And this was just one I picked up at Walmart. Okay. So before my trip to North Carolina, my husband came in and saw me working on this piece that is from Cobweb Designs, a Scottish company, and it is the Claude Monet sampler. And it came just like this, the whole kit with everything you need, anchor floss, Madeira floss, and it had given us 14 count Ada in the, in the kit. Well, you know I have nothing against Ada, but the color was kind of, it was not what shows here. It was more the oatmeal Ada. And he saw me working on it and he said, don't you think that would look better on a different fabric? Well, I couldn't help but laugh and I'm like, yes. So 
right before I left on my trip, I went down to the stationage and looked for fabric. I showed the owner this picture and I said, I wanna change this out. Well guys, she helped me find a beautiful light blue and I wanna read you that information. Then I'll show you my restart of this sampler. The maker of the fabric is Volcano. That's a new one to me. And the color is Oxygen. It is a 32 count linen. So let me put this in here and show you my restart. This is such a pretty blue. And in this light, it's going to look kind of grayish white. But there's the house and a little bit of the wording. This is really all I got done. I think a little bit on the plane and then I didn't get much stitching done at my daughter's, but is this going to be a fun sampler that I'm really going to try to finish fairly quickly because I love the colors. I've always loved Monet and his home is some place we really want to visit at some point. And so that will be on the whip pile for some attention. This is how big it's going to be. So definitely not a big sampler. Okay, so then I've been working on my dimensions kit and have had so much fun with this. If you remember, it is stacked teacups. It is a dimensions gold collection, petite. And of course I forgot my backing. Let me see if I hold this up, if you can see, just a second. So what I did was to try to fill in this cup. I still have a lot of stitches to do the second cross on. My eyes crossed after a while with that beige. But I also did a lot more of the blue background. And as I told you, once you get into a rhythm with that, it works fairly quickly. And then I started this at the bottom, which will go under the saucer for the teacup. I haven't spent a lot of time on this, but there's the part under there that I started and I figured I'd just work back up and meet myself up here. Then I'll need to finish this cup and the greenery and the darling little bird. And of course, keep plugging away on the background. This one is designed by Susan Winget. I think we talked about that in a previous video. I'm not sure if it is the bright, cheerful colors of this piece. I know it's because we love china and little teacups and the floral design, but it's been such a good break when my eyes needed a bigger fabric. And I would commend it to you. I am not having trouble with the dimensions pattern, reading the dimensions pattern. Um, I think if you haven't tried one of their kits, this would be a good one. There's a lot of changing of colors, but it's definitely manageable. So fun, fun times. And maybe next time you see a video, I don't know what I'll decide. I'm probably going to try to finish this and get that cup filled in where the beige isn't quite finished. I need to do that in daylight. All right. So my focus for a finish, I cannot wait to show you how much progress I've made. This would be my first Hands Across the Sea sampler to finish. I started it this year. It is Rachel Sheard, aged 82. I'm sorry, Rachel Sheard, 1900 aged 82. Could be Rachel Sherd. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. But you can see when we ordered this, we laugh now and say, we thought this was a small sampler. And by some reckoning, it is small, but not really. So I am so close, my friends. Now, you know, I wish I could tell you what fabric this is on. Is it on here? No, it must be on a piece of paper. I'll have to find that for you when I finish it. But here we are. 
and I'm not going to be able to see what you can see. So my project right now is to finish the red inner border here, which is so simple now that it's memorized. So I've gotten this whole side done and that little section there. And of course, let's see if we can do this. Got the top finished and over halfway, no, almost halfway on that side. Praying, praying, praying it will meet. And then on the outside of the red border, let me get my pattern, you'll see there are two rows of just green, straight line green. Now, the other thing that is left to do is this bush or flower here. My friends, I have ripped this out more times than I want to tell you. Finally got this one in. So I'm gonna rip out those red ones there. They're in the wrong place and hopefully get that put in very quickly. And then I'll need to finish the sweet green leaves and you can see how they're positioned very predictably. But I'm only Ooh, a fourth of the way through with green leaves. But so close. I must, must, must get this finished by the end of August, if not sooner. I just fell in love with this, and I have not lost my love for it. Just such a gorgeous sampler. So a lot of fit leaves to finish, but hopefully it won't take too long. We'll see. Let me read this sweet verse for you. Be Christ my pattern and my guide. His image may I bear. Oh, may I tread his sacred steps and his bright glories share. And the precious needlewoman stitched this when she was 82 years old. Just love it. Hope you can see. I love those motifs on the bottom. Less so this one that gave me fits, but that's okay. This one worked up very quickly. Now, I, you know, stitching can be funny as to what gives us trouble. And I do want to identify this linen for you because it is a dream to work on, just a dream. All right. Now we have, I don't want to run forever today. We have my cell that I'm doing with Jenny Stitches on Instagram. And this is the Maura Blackburn Keep Keep Me Sampler. I have a Keeps My Way Secure and a Keep Me Sampler. How about that? She started this, has it been a couple of months? And she already has a page finish. So I am behind, but I'm close to a page finish. This one, I believe I can tell you the fabric, yes. It's on 36 count. I don't know who MF is. Anyway, the color is called Sleeping Bear. Sometimes I have trouble with my fabrics. But anyway, 36 count Sleeping Bear. Maybe you'll know who that stitching fabric um, dyer is. I do not. So I'm very close to my page finish. I'm not sure where you saw this last, excuse me. So what I need to do is finish over to here, which is going to be the house. As you can see, this is a fence. This border will go down that whole side. So I'll have to do that much of that border. Then I also need to fill in my weeping willow. There are some beige just barely off white. There's some shading fill in there. Then of course, we'll have a whole nother half of that beautiful tree. This one I am stitching with the called for, let's see what it is, Weeks Dye Works and DMC. I did get the Weeks Dye Works because they are so beautiful. So I think my goal is to finish the Hands Across the Sea sampler and then try to finish the page on this one. Fun stitching, such a, mm, 
That sampler is one I've had in my stash for so long that I jumped at her sow because I was so thrilled to have a reason to start it. All right, one more new start. I'm hopelessly... I have start itis, but this one is a kit my husband gave me years ago for my birthday. And I didn't pull it out to start because it's a DMC kit that is labeled advanced. Not easy, not moderate, but advanced. But again, teapots, teacups, we love all the china. And it's just called Teapots Collection. The reason I pulled it out was that we were visiting my dad back in Mississippi, and that was something else we'd been doing. I forgot about that trip. And I thought I would pull out something that was different, that I could work on in the car. And it, it was a good car stitch, even though it's on linen. I'm not sure what size linen, but anyway. I have a very small start, but I do want to show you how the DMC kit came because I'm quite impressed with their organization. So you have all kinds of instructions in many languages, and then you have pages and pages of pattern, but you also have this lovely threads guide which I love it being a separate page. And so far the pattern has been fairly easy to read. So it is on this white, off-white linen, which is not my favorite, but it's not a bad linen, it's fine. And then the floss cards actually came without the knots tied. I don't really understand that because it's so easy for them to fall out if they're not knotted. But I got those knotted in the car pretty easily. Sorry, they're gorgeous colors. And so I'm putting my used threads right up here. It's quite easy to manage. And look at these blues and greens, oh my goodness. But you can tell how much white there is to stitch and how much gray. So two floss cards and then this linen, and I'm just leaving it in the hoop because I'm being selfish. I was working on it the other night, but you can see it's going to be fairly big. So I have started in the middle, and this is the little, oh my goodness, people, the little blue bird and the big white teapot, and you can see the pink flowers and the green leaves. So I've done just a, that little smattering right there. Let me show you. How fun. I can't say why this was good car stitching, but I think mostly because they're blocks of color and the colors are bright and cheerful. And of course the bird is going to show up so nicely once I've back stitched. So if I were to get that big teapot finished, I would feel a huge sense of accomplishment. And then the little flower motifs underneath. And then maybe I can think about which direction to go. There are plenty of choices, right? So he was pleased that I had pulled out the kit and I am quite impressed with the DMC layout and the way they've packaged the kit. Of course, it's DMC floss. Okay, if you are not someone who enjoys haul, I'll say goodbye and you can go about your business, but I hope you have wonderful stitching time this week, this weekend, even more stitching time. And if you are a haul person, we've got quite a few patterns. You saw the fabric I bought and these patterns were on a $3 table. I don't see patterns for $3 very often. So I bought quite a few. Also, one or two of them may end up in my giveaway for seven years of having a channel, but we'll see what we decide about that. Um, I think that's all I need to say. So goodbye friends who don't like haul. Please come back to see me, comment, let me know what you're working on. Thank you for spending time with me. For the rest of you, let's have some fun with some haul. This is With Thy Needle and Thread. Mrs. Bun E. Tail. Now, I have not done any of her animals, but I see them all the time, and I have to do this bunny. 
I just cannot even say how much I love it. With the robin and the blue robin's eggs and the pink flowers, but especially that bunny. So, love having her. I'll have to get all my supplies. That won't be on the list anytime soon, but you'll know, of course. Then this is another With Thy Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais, called the Prairie House Sampler. Now, you know I have another Prairie Sampler, the Laura Ingalls Wilder one, which needs to come out. But this is a small one, and I loved the log cabin. And, of course, the blues and browns. So I grabbed that one. Then I got this precious JBW design. Le, well, it's the balloon. I'm not going to try to say that in French. There is a balloon festival in the town where our daughter and her family moved recently. I believe it's in the fall. So I want to make this for their new home and for their little town where they're living. Precious. I have to decide what color. I may stick with that darling pink. She loves pink. She can use that in the kitchen. Then this shows how forgetful we can be. I had ordered for one of our daughters this adorable little house needleworks Robin Hood pattern for her birthday because her son is into Robin Hood and knights and castles and all the fun boy things. And when I saw this at the Stitch Niche, in my head, I had thought I had ordered a different pattern that she had suggested, but oh no, it's this one. So this may go in the giveaway unless I have another grandson who's interested in Robin Hood. I'll have to check on that before I give this away, but isn't that precious? This is an older one that was designed by Little House Needleworks, but just like all of her patterns, so charming. Band of Merry Men, Sherwood Forest made Marian, Marian Sheriff of Nottingham. I just love those designs. So we'll see what I decide to do with that one. Then another Little House Needleworks that I've looked at so many times and not bought is called the Sampler Lady. And look at her. Alphabet in her skirt and then all of her supplies. Thread, linen, pins, a needleworker at the top with the little scissors. I know I want to do this one and look at her spools. So cute. And then two that I have not taken out of the kit because of the way it's sealed. Isn't that cute? I've never heard of Lily Violette. This is a French designer and it's called Spring Night. Now, it's so small, you may have trouble seeing that, but it is children and I guess they're decorating just the ch most charming thing. Two kitty cats and two bunny rabbits. And the saying says, in spring nights, the stars light our dreams up. That is just beyond adorable. And she does call for DMC, so that will be easy. 32 count natural linen. It'll just be precious. Well, someone has waked up from her nap and is making a lot of noise. And guys, I have no idea who this designer is. And I let me get this out because you're not going to be able to see. But the whole kit was on the $3 table. And I was like, yes, thank you, please. Let me try to get this out. It's called the Hearts Content Incorporated. They must not design anymore. If you know anything about this designer, please let me know. It says, designed by Maureen Appleton. There's her little card. But, oh my word, there is linen in here. There is floss. There is even fabric to finish the scissor fob. I think that's what the linen in here is for. But look at the design. Friends are angels on earth. 
I mean, adorable. More bunnies, a puppy. I mean, what's not to love? So, got the whole kit, all the instructions as to how to do the scissor fob and the, what even, oh my word. There's just everything you need in here. And I'm just intrigued by that sweet sentiment and those adorable ladies. And of course they have curly hair, which I just noticed, honestly. <laughs> So that's my stash. I really didn't spend that much because of the sale. So thank you, Stitch Niche. They were celebrating one of the owner's birthdays, so I went at the right time. Guys, I'm sure I've forgotten something to tell you. If so, hopefully I'll be back sooner rather than later. I'll have the fully finished, ready to show, maybe the sampler finished. I would love to have a page finish on the Willow piece, but Let's encourage each other and keep this going. Today is National Thread the Needle Day, and that's what prompted me to get this video filmed. Thread the Needle can also have, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It has to do with some maneuvers done in sports, which I need to look up about threading the needle in sports. But for us, we know what that means. Floss into our favorite needle and some stitching. So celebrate National Thread the Needle Day with me. Even if you have cleaning to do, even if you have chores, fit some stitching in amongst those other things because it helps us, it relaxes us, it makes our brains focus, and we end up with a beautiful product to share or to display in our homes. Thank you again for being here. I hope to see you soon. Take care and stitch as much as you can. Bye-bye.